Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Kicking Bass TV. Today, doing a little ice fishing out on the front range, getting into some decent sized bass. As you can see, stay tuned at the end of the video to get information on our 2023 kickoff party happening next Saturday. Do me a favor, hit that subscribe button down below. Let's go. All right, guys, today we're out doing a little ice fishing on the front range, hitting a couple local bodies of water as we get ready for our big 2023 kickoff party that's going to be going down next Saturday. We're going to talk all about that here in just a minute. But first, I've had a ton of people contacting me recently asking for tips on how to catch bass and other warm water species through the ice. So real quick, talk about a couple things to help you catch bass this time of year, starting with lure selection, which I usually keep super simple. One of two things, generally a micro jig like this tip with an artificial waxy and if not that then a flutter spoon like the new glow spoons that we just got from bass dash when it comes to targeting bass through the ice in the winter if you're on a large body of water like a highland reservoir you're going to start by moving to offshore rock piles laid down cover structure other things of that nature like ridges ledges drop off points humps and other anomalies where on a featureless lake those bass are going to tend to pull and hold consistently through the winter. On a smaller body of water, don't be afraid to move in and check those fingers and coves, the opening to the main body of water because great spot for bass and other warm water species to stage for easy feeding opportunities and don't be afraid to experiment by fishing different depths in those areas. And that's exactly what we're doing today. We started by popping our first hole dead center where we had no vegetation at all and our deepest water. And as we moved about eight to 10 feet to our right, we found a lot of heavy grass as high as three to four feet off the surface. So we moved a little farther in towards the bank where we found the opposite edge, open end of that grass line, but it was only five to six feet deep. We were consistently catching big bass, both in the five to six foot range and out in the center. And that's because they generally do one of two things around the grassy areas. They're either sitting on the outside lanes like they were today, aggressively trolling, waiting for anything to pop out of that grass that they can feed on or they're being more cautious taking a more stealth approach sitting right in the thick of that grass right on the bottom waiting for unsuspecting fish to pass by one thing that's greatly increased your chances of catching warm water species through the ice is whether or not you're utilizing a fish finder i've caught so many five six pound plus bass on a micro jig that I couldn't even tell was in the bass's mouth at the time had I not known that the bass was present because of the sonar. Now, a lot of times in the winter because they've slowed their metabolism to survive the cold temps makes them a lot less aggressive, a lot less active, which is why you consistently find them grouped up. But some days they will not be switched on and that's when you want to draw a reaction bite out of them. That's why I like to use flutter spoons because once I'm marking them and I'm not having any luck getting them to strike and they're not aggressive feeding it's all about the reaction bite and that's when that sonar comes into play knowing that that bass is present give you time to jig give you a little time to observe their behavior see how they're responding to the action in the water or whether or not you might need to make some adjustments switch up the color or profile a little bit a lot of times make all the difference when it comes to getting them to bite so hopefully these few tips will help you guys catch some more bass other warm water species through the ice and now to the giveaway this Saturday, January 21st from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Join us out at Evergreen Lake for our 2023 kickoff party barbecue and giveaway event. We're going to be cooking up some free brats for you guys on the grill. We've got some games set up for the adults and kids as well. Fun for the whole family to come out, play a little ice golf, do a little fishing, have a chance to win some awesome prizes from our sponsors. We've got a ton of new fishing gear from Bass Dash, from shorts to shirts to sun sleeves to hats, new ice fishing gloves, We've got some open water season gear, some gloves and gaiters. We've got some koozies and even some of the new micro fleece hoodies. Also got a few pair of those Bass Dash fishing waders to give away. We're gonna be handing out free custom soft plastic baits all day long. So stop by, say hi, grab some free plastics, ask us how you can be entered to win one of our hand painted custom lures. So come join us this Saturday at Evergreen Lake from 9 a.m. to 2. We'll be right over here off the north parking lot. Just look for the black and yellow fray bill tent on the ice. Come grab a bite to eat. Eat, say hi to us, grab some free baits, play some games, do a little fishing, start the 2023 season off right. As always, if you guys enjoyed the video today, hit that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Make sure you hit that notification bell to stay up with our videos and giveaways. 
leave me a comment in the comment section down below. Hopefully we'll see you guys out at Evergreen Lake this Saturday for the 2023 kickoff party. Until then, I'm D with Kickin' Bass TV. Subscribe!